This is a DVD about whirly gigs. They come in different shapes and different sizes, sometimes referred to as spindle twisters. This is one I made about five years ago, still working strong. Here's another one, caught in the wind, moving quite slowly today. It's also about five years old. Here's another one. This is made out of cedar wood. I like the design of this one. You can use any wood, of course. Cedar wood or hardwood is preferable because it stands up to the weather better. And I like this shape. So what I'm going to do is to reproduce one of these in the workshop. So if you'd like to follow me on this video, I'll show you how it's done. Right, first piece. Here I have some ash I've acquired. I'm going to cut the first piece through at five millimeters. This gives me my first piece. I now need to cut it to the right the right width. Right this time I set the saw up to two and a half millimeters or half an inch in the old imperial measurement. We'll cut through again. end up with a piece like this which is five millimeters by twelve and a half and we need about 70 of these all in different lengths to complete the wordy gig. Next thing we do the next thing I do is to make a cardboard template. Obviously there's lots of different ways of doing this but this is my way of doing it. If you look at it you might say well that side's not quite the same as that side. That's not important and you'll see why in a moment. I put the template onto my paper and I draw around it. Not, not too accurate, it doesn't have to be, it's not important. So I draw around the bad side as well and the uh, reason for this will become clear later on. What is important, down through the center, and it is the center, I have a line and I need to mark this on my paper. That will also become clear later on. So now when I lift it off, I've got my template reproduced onto the paper. Now from all my pieces of timber, and I've got them in all different lengths, I'm now going to lay them on top of the... on top of my drawing, and you'll see Some of these are much longer, obviously, because uh, the piece is freshly cut. Some of the pieces I got are shorter. They're off cuts from, from a previous early gig. But by putting these around here now, I will know when it comes to the time to cut, how to cut the edges. But most important, I will put this on here. The most important thing I need to know is where to drill the hole. So that will become that will become important. I'll go on la laying these on until I've laid it all up. And then then you'll see what I mean about lining up for the hole. Right now I've laid all these pieces together, and you can see some are shorter than others. They were from off cuts from 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 uh, previous wordy gigs. Here's my template again. If I lay this on top now, you can see if I lay it caref very carefully, you can see that. 
I better cut around this side now. Just line up these things a little bit. Make sure that when I get the center line right, I've still got some wood on this side to cut off. So now I'm quite happy with that. So what I can take the template off. And what I want to do now is to draw a line down through the middle. That line will be where I need to make drill the holes. So I put a piece of wood on there, a piece of hardwood on there, so that it won't. Uh, if I try to do it with a flexible ruler, you'll find the pieces of wood will move. So I'm now going to press down hard and draw a line down through the middle. Right there we go. That is the place where I need to drill the holes, and that'll be the next uh, stage. Here, I've set up a jig in the right place underneath the pillar drill so that when I line up my piece of wood, which I'm going to cut, I line up this mark with this mark, and bring the drill down, the hole will be in the middle. I'm only doing two or three pieces at a time because if I take too many out and lose the sequence they're in, it's very, very difficult to try and get them back together again. So that's the, that's the sequence for driving the hole into the middle. The bit, by the way, is a, a proper wood turning bit. It's not, it's not a metal bit. And I'll show you the next bit now. Here now, I've taken a piece of wire, here's the rod, which I've straightened, and now as I drill the holes, I put the pieces on, slide them down over, in the same sequence as what I had them on, on the bench. As you'll see, eventually I can build up the whole, the whole thing again, now mounted on this piece of wire. The reason for that will become obvious later on. This is not the gluing up stage, this is just the cutting stage. Right, now I have the last three pieces going on. And then I want to transfer it back to the bench. Right, now the tricky bit. I want to take it off of there, off the vise. And transfer it back down to the bench. Like so. The next stage now is to mark it for cutting and take my template again. If these lines are not perfectly straight, it's not that important. The thing is that the, kit, the piece of wire through the middle is, is straight. That's the important thing. Now, I lie this back on here, and I want this center line now to be in line with the wire. Right, now then. Again, I'm going to take a piece of timber and press down so that I I'm holding it all nice and tight. And here I'm going to draw around now on the right hand side of my template. As I told you before, the right hand side was the important side. And if I take the template off, we can see now we have the line which we have to cut. Now we have to go from this workshop to another workshop to use the bandsaw. That's the next stage. Here we are at the bandsaw. Now, I've changed the blade in the saw because I normally have a half inch blade. I've put in a quarter inch blade now to allow me to go around these curves a lot easier. I've also taped down this side of the the timber to hold the pieces firmly together. 
and I've done the same thing on the back side. So now what I want to do is to cut round on the line. Right now I've cut to the line, uh, very close, maybe out slightly here and there, but that doesn't matter. That's the first, the first cut.